The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Want to know why Washington keeps on spending? My next guest says it's because of interview questions like this. My daughter asked me to ask you, what is the coolest thing about being president? She says it's because you get to be friends with Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> so I, I said, well, well I'm going to ask the so president, what's the coolest thing? You can tell your daughter that that is a, a view shared by Malia and Sasha. That's what they think is the coolest thing. Uh, not exactly penetrating questions about Obamacare. Reaction now from Robin Leach. Here he is, the man himself. Robin, welcome to the program. Nice to be with you, Stuart. You have no idea how many people walk up to me and say, hey, Robin Leach. <laughs> and you would be very surprised at the number of people who walk up to me and say, Stuart no, Barney. No, I do not believe that. Okay, well, let's get serious now. That was an example of the media fawning all over President Obama. And you don't like it, do you? No, I don't. I, I think that it's, uh, it's horrifying what this man has led America into. Horrifying? Horrif strong words. Strong words. Yeah, strong words, but deliberately. Because I don't think that the world... Well, I don't think that mainly Americans are aware of what is going on in this country. It's exactly the same reason that you, I, yep. left England in the 60s before Maggie Thatcher came in and crushed the unions, which were destroying Britain. They were destroying economies, they were destroying jobs, they were destroying initiative, free enterprise, everything. Maggie Thatcher reversed it all. We need that kind of leadership in this country before America is on its knees. You think that this president has taken us that far down the road to European look-alike country in I, just four years? Even, I'm not even gentle with the words of European look-alike country. He's taken this country down the road of socialism, which is a cushy, comfortable word for communism. We don't hear that very often from Brits who come to the United States. Listen, we came we here don't. because this was the land of opportunity. Yes, this was did. the land exactly the opposite of Britain, where the old school tie didn't work. If you got off your backside, you pulled up your socks and you worked hard, you were rewarded. Yeah. Now you're punished for doing that. That work ethic is wrong now in America, because you've got to rely on the nanny state government to take care of everything. But everybody who gets free phones and free food and free EBT cards and free everything else, where does that come from? It comes from the national debt which is crippling us, and it comes from the 1% of the country that's left with a few bucks in its pocket, and they're trying to get those few bucks too. You say it's crippling us. You live in the United States. Yeah. You lived here for a long time. 30 odd, 40 odd years. And you came here back in the day when Britain was an aristocratic kind of place and you're always bumping up against that class system. Right. You came to America, just like me. Free opportunity. Oh, no, just like me. Land yeah. of opportunity. Open country, come on in, what can you do? You can rise as far as your brain's talent, drive and ability get you. Drive, drive, drive. Yes, drive, exactly, drive. exactly. You and I are in exactly the same boat, but you feel very strongly that those good days are gone. Do you think they're gone forever? You don't think we can reverse this in America? It's getting dangerously close to the point where it can't be reversed. Dangerously close. That bad? Yes, I really believe it. Do you see any politician on the horizon who could no, reverse it? No, and that's the tragedy, because look at the clowns in Washington, D.C. on both sides of the aisle. These are not people who lead. What we need, just like a flock of sheep need, is a very strong shepherd. We need that strong shepherd, and we don't have that anywhere at the moment. So pray that somebody comes along to reverse all of this nonsense in the next set of elections. Rand Paul? Don't think strong enough. No? No. Not articulate? You need a man with charisma. You need a man who can stand on his own two feet. I mean, look, you look back, you need what Maggie Thatcher represented. Yeah. Exactly the opposite of Nancy Pelosi, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's cruel. <laughs> you know, you're laughing, but you know. <laughs> so there's no hope. Come on, you can't say that. You're an American. We, we We're pray, optimists. We pray that there's hope. We pray that there will be good things that come. And maybe you've got to go right down into the depths of hell, which we're about to over the next three months and do this all over again in February, January and February. It's going to be all the same. There'll be no cuts. I There'll be no solution. I cannot leave this on a negative. I can't do that. America you, is still the greatest country in the world and always will be. And, and always will be. God and will turn America. around, won't it, Robin yes. Leach?
Or should yes, I say Stuart, Stuart Varney? <laughs> <laughs> Robin, that was fun. That really was. Will you come again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. And you can get me on live from yeah. Vegas anytime you wish. We'll do it. Robin, thank you very much indeed. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.